Hey guys, welcome to my 39 week pregnancy update where I can't really wear much more clothes and I am ready for this baby to be out. So why don't you just stay tuned and you can hear a little bit more about what's been going on with me this week. Hey guys, I am only five days away from my due date. Five days. I'm due the 27th of July and it is the 22nd today. Duh, I should have just done whatever. And I, I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm only five days away and I wish that he was here, but I know he's just comfortable and he's not ready, but mama is ready. Mama is very ready. Um, mama is very uncomfortable. Um, it is very hard to sleep at night. Um, I'm so exhausted and tired no matter how much sleep I get, how little sleep I get. It just never amazes me. I feel like I can't get enough. My eyes always feel like they're dragging down. And that hasn't been very fun. Um, I'm just, I've been getting swollen a lot. Um, I get a little on my fingers, but it's definitely more in my ankles and my feet after I've been on my feet all day. I went to the splash pad yesterday with my friend and her daughter and my nephew and my sister-in-law. And by the time I got home after a few hours, definitely could tell I was on my feet for just a little too long. So I had to prop them, which wasn't too fun, but the swollenness doesn't really go all the way down. Um, it gets more swollen as the day goes and then less at in the morning, but has not been fun at all. Mm -hmm. And he has actually been moving a lot more this past few weeks. I know that some people say movement can slow. I've been to my hospital and they say movement shouldn't slow down. Um, he's been active. He hasn't... I, I would, I would even say he's been more active, and it could just be his body is, like, forming more. It's not jabs or anything. It's definitely rolling and him moving around and him moving his head in my pelvis, which is causing a lot of pelvic pressure. It is, it is very uncomfortable, especially, I know this is TMI, but especially when I go to the bathroom and I sit down, for some reason it's just a lot of pressure, which could mean that he's lower and all that stuff, so... And I still had crazy heartburn. I know I mentioned it a few, I'm not sure exactly what week I started mentioning my heartburn, but it has definitely been bad lately. I get it at night more than during the day after I've eaten all day, no matter what I've eaten, how little I've eaten, how much I've eaten, I just have heartburn. And I can't wait for that to go away because I've had heartburn in my life, but never to this extent. It's been, it's been pretty bad. And I have a lot of back aches. Um, I can't sit up without back support. Like, this chair has a back. I'd have to be leaning back like this just to um, somewhat relieve the, the pain. But it does not relieve the pain all the way just sitting. I have to go to my room, lay down on my side, prop my stomach, and stay there for at least a good hour before the pain goes away. And... Um, then I have to move from my hip, my hip, my side to my side because my hips start to hurt. My hips have been a pain for many, many weeks now, a few months actually, which you guys know I think I mentioned that almost in every single one of my um, bump date or my pregnancy updates. So I'm, I mean, the the struggle is real this far into pregnancy. Um, I, I mean, I, I would say I have it easy. I know there's some people that have it a lot worse, so I'm very, very grateful for um, ha having a pretty smooth pregnancy with my weight, with everything. So I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. Do not get me wrong. But at the same time, I would really, really, really like him here because I'm getting very, very, very uncomfortable and huge, and I feel huge, and that is never a fun feeling. Um, so I guess we'll kind of just talk about him a little bit. He is the size of a watermelon. And I've seen some watermelon over the past couple weeks. And I don't want to imagine a watermelon in my stomach. <laughs> Even though it's, it's relatively the same size when I'm comparing them. But I don't want to imagine a watermelon in my stomach. And he should be around 8 to 8.5 pounds by what I went by with my ultrasound. Um, probably more 8.5 but we'll see because they can be a pound more or a pound less. I'm hoping a pound less, but you never know. And he should be around 19 to 22 inches long, which is crazy to me. Like, it's a full-size baby in there. He could come out and it's, it's just weird to even think about it. So I thought I would actually go ahead and kind of talk about my doctor's appointment a little. 
um, because I don't know how other people do it and it's kind of at my doctor's office kind of just the way that it happens. They have yet to check me for any um, change in my cervix to see if I've dilated any or anything and I'm 39 weeks and two days and my doctor's appointment is tomorrow so when they check me I will be four days away from my due date if they check me tomorrow which I'm hoping that they will if not I think I'm gonna ask them to do it anyway because I just want to know if I'm anywhere near if I um, am dilated at, at, at all because I know with some people they could be dilated for a while and then it happened other people could be dilated nothing and then all of a sudden it happened so definitely you just never really know and I also lost two pounds from the time I went to the, doc the week before, so I've only gained three pounds now, which my doctor is really proud of. I'm actually really proud of because I didn't want to gain any weight, meaning as I don't need to gain weight for him to be healthy. That is what I mean when I'm talking about weight gain um, in regards to my pregnancy. I don't, I wouldn't mind the weight gain. I, I, I would not mind. I would put on 50 pounds if it meant my son would be healthy, but. I don't need to gain weight for him to gain weight and be healthy. So at that same time then, if I don't need to gain weight, I don't want to gain a ton of extra weight, that is going to be hard to get off because I'm already a bigger girl and I already want to work on my health so much now into after he's here because now that I have a son, I'm going to have to teach him how to eat right and teach him how to do all these things. So that is kind of the basis of why I've been so cautious with my weight. And I hope you understand but it's not shaming at all. I would gain what I need to gain, and I think I've done a pretty good job. And my doctor is very um, happy with what I have gained and what I haven't gained and everything that I've done. Um, that is about all I have, actually, for my 39-week uh, pregnancy update. I don't have much to talk about. I mean, it stayed pretty much the same. I'm still waiting for his this little boy to arrive so I can share with you guys when he's here. Um... I'm just waiting and waiting and it is literally a waiting game at this point because I'm only five days away from my due date and I will let you guys know on my next pregnancy update if I if I have another pregnancy update I guess we should point that out a little bit if they'll give me a, a induction date because like I told you guys I have to move by August 1st and hit and his due date like right in with me moving out of town so I have talked to my doctor and expressed this and they have said once before oh we'll induce you it shouldn't be a problem and then last time they were like well we don't induce until 41 weeks at all because we want you there naturally so I'm definitely going to talk to them about at least maybe seeing if they'll do me at 31 weeks because that's only three days away from 41 weeks and they don't even have to start that night it's just I have to you know We'll see. I'll let you guys know. I'll fill you in. If they, if we do, if I go to the doctor tomorrow and they set an induction before next Wednesday when I'm supposed to film, or if it's like the next day, maybe I'll put the video up on Friday or on Monday a little early on my due date to let you guys know a little bit about what's going on. But um, yeah, let's just go get in and I will show you my belly. So here is my belly at um, 39 weeks. He is a big one. My shirt does not even go all the way down, so I'm trying to show you how big he really is. And I'm sorry I totally spilled my lunch on myself. I can't help it. My stomach catches everything, and then this is this side. Pull from here. Alright, so it looks like that's going to be all for my 39 week pregnancy update. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm sorry I haven't been the most consistent with my videos, like I really do apologize, this is something I'm very passionate about doing, and it's a lot of fun for me, and I love communicating, but, but I hope you guys understand that I am 39 weeks pregnant, and I have been very uncomfortable, and, and I still have stuff to do around the house and everything, so when I get that done, by the time I'm ready to film a video, I'm just exhausted and want to lay down. But I will never not put up an update for you guys because I do guys want you guys to fill you guys in and I do want to show you my son when he's here. Um, this is my mommy type whatever I guess I want to do channel because I do want to vlog once my son's here. I would vlog now but I really don't do much and it would probably be pretty boring. But I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you in my next video. So I will see you later alligator.